Let the Super Mario Odyssey hype begin. Not that it hasn't really been going on since its uh, reveal, but yes, Super Mario Odyssey has gotten its first official review. It's technically not available to the public yet. Edge Magazine gave Super Mario Odyssey a perfect 10. Now, Edge Magazine is technically not available yet until I think it's tomorrow or later this week. Uh, Edge Magazine is usually available sooner than this, but they actually delayed the release of this magazine for an exclusive embargo on the Super Mario Odyssey review. Essentially, Nintendo said, fine, you can be the first publication to publish your review, but you must wait until this date. And this week is actually the first week that Super Mario Odyssey is arriving with other media members out there. So I don't know what the review embargo will be on that. You'll probably start seeing rev you know, everyone else's reviews pop up in 10 days or so. But yeah, this is exciting stuff. Now, I'm not going to read anything too specific from the review itself. Obviously, it's a review, so it contains some level of spoilers. But one aspect I, I do want to bring up, because this is extremely interesting. For those wondering, we all know, uh, at least if you've been following anything about Mario Odyssey, you know that unlike collecting stars and other stuff in the past, you collect moons. And the moons are what power your little hat-shaped ship. I know it has a name. I'm trying to keep this a little bit spoiler-free. Uh, what's crazy is, and I don't, I don't even consider this a spoiler at this point, this is just an interesting fact. There are almost, here's the exact words, there are nearly as many moons in Odyssey as there are Korok seeds in Breath of the Wild. There's 900 Korok seeds. So if there's almost 900 moons in this game, now they could be exaggerating, but if they're not exaggerating, and there's like 800 plus moons to find in this game, this game is going to have a lot of replayability. And unlike games like Breath of the Wild, where collecting isn't really part of the shtick in Breath, you know, it, it became part of the shtick with Korok Seeds, but in Zelda, collecting's not really a thing. In Mario, there's a lot of thrill in collecting things and collecting moons. It, it's a 3D platformer collecting type experience, and that's kind of the way it's been for a long time. So this actually fits better in in that world so the fact that there could be 900 moons is just blowing my mind right now but what's interesting here is that edge magazine has given now including wrath of the wild 20 perfect tens in the magazine's history uh, and the magazine's been around for a long time but what's more interesting than that is the last game that they gave a perfect 10 to was breath of the wild that means in less than one year, like, think about this, like, we're, what, going to be seven months in? The Switch has two games from Edge Magazine with perfect 10 scores. I'm sorry, someone's going to have to look this up. I tried looking it up myself. I don't have access to all of Edge's back catalog, so I couldn't confirm this 100%. But this might be the first time in history that a console in less than a year has had two Perfect 10 console exclusive games from Edge Magazine and possibly from any publication. Now, I'm not going to say every publication. Obviously, your Nintendo Everythings of the World, your Nintendo World Report, you know, the, the Nintendo sites that are going to have some bias are obviously going to have multiple uh, 10s, probably given out or multiple 5 out of 5s in a single year. But this is just insane from a, a company like Edge. Now, obviously, we'll have to see if this holds up. Um, Edge gave Breath of the Wild a 10, and we saw that Breath of the Wild came out and had tons and tons of 10s and 9s, and still to this day, I believe, is in the top 5 overall rated games of all time. It was number 1 for a long time, but uh, yeah, it's not number 1 anymore. But top 5 is still insane, and it appears that at least based on one review, we might be looking at Super Mario Odyssey potentially cracking that top five is it going to bump out breath of the wild is it going to join breath of the wild is it going to become the best rated game of all time i have no idea but this just is hype to the extreme i almost wish this review would have came out a week ago we would have talked about it on this week's podcast with the hype man himself mr hmk but that's all right because i am pretty hyped about this as is and man two 10 out of 10 games on the same console in less than a year 
man, if anything, my only concern is how can Nintendo top this, right? This is like the perfect storm for Nintendo with the Switch in year one. Appealing hardware and name, good marketing, uh, two of the highest rated games potentially of all time, exclusive to your platforms. I understand Breath of the Wild also came on a Wii U, but Super Mario Odyssey is literally console exclusive. In, in addition to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and a, a brand new IP in ARMS and Splatoon 2 and Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, and you're starting to see some third party support, maybe some late ports, but at least it's there. And Skyrim and Doom, Rocket League, we're getting the uh, Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus next year. And while this isn't necessarily, you know, I said perfect storm. Perfect Storm would be like all third parties have already jumped on board. But this is, you couldn't ask for a better first year for a system, if I'm being honest. Not even PlayStation 4 and Xbox One can stand up to this first year that Nintendo was having with Switch. Now, as I said, this does bring concern up 2018. I don't know how you follow up a year like this. I know some people will say, well, you follow it up with Metroid, you follow it up with Pokemon, you follow it up with Animal Crossing, and you follow it up with Smash Bros. And Nintendo certainly has enough big games left in their back pocket that they could just chuck out there and have just as good of a 2018 as a 2017. But it's hard to imagine them pulling that off. Maybe they can, because maybe 100% of their development efforts are focused on Switch. They're no longer supporting two different platforms. I realize they're still releasing games on 3DS, but maybe internally, you know, they've shifted everything and because everything's focused on switch maybe they are going to have like a new animal crossing next year they have that isn't announced yet we know there's a new fire emblem coming maybe nintendo is going to hit us with even more titles next year because it's arguable nothing in their library as big as essentially pokemon zelda and and Mario. Now you could argue Animal Crossing is actually a more popular franchise than The Legend of Zelda and you would be correct but obviously Zelda means more in the minds of solidifying this system with so far the target audience of the Switch which is essentially lapsed gamers or Nintendo fans. So I'm, I'm really excited about this and I can't wait to get Super Mario Odyssey in my hands. Uh, no, I am not one of the media members getting my hands on Super Mario Odyssey, so you won't see any early gameplay or previews from me, but the gameplay you're seeing in here was graciously provided to us by Game Explain. I will have links to the original videos containing all their stuff down in the comments below. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Ruffajance from Nintendo Prime, and this is a great opportunity to remind you guys that we are giving away a copy of what apparently might be a top 5 rated game of all time in Super Mario Odyssey. The contest runs through the 26th. I understand that's a day before. Some people wanted it to be done sooner, but it's already been set in stone, so it is what it is. There is a link to a Gleam.io giveaway in the description that lets you enter. The only requirement to enter is that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. Beyond that, if you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Thanks for everything, folks, and I will catch you in the next one.